The Cosmos Club was founded in 1878 by a group of people in Washington. It was basically an intellectual club, a place where men gathered to talk about issues of the day. The Townsend Mansion came on the market. The club bought the building from her estate in 1950. My first impression when I came to the Warren Ballroom was one of uh, excitement because what I saw was a beautiful gem of an interior and building. But the state of the ballroom was, it was tired. It was dingy, dirty, kind of forgotten about. There were relatively few allard ballrooms left. Many of them were in New York and private mansions that had been torn down. We realized that we really had an architectural and historical artistic treasure in this room and that it was very important that we treat it with full respect. We really wanted to understand what was here and what the original design intent was. We brought in Richard Wolbers with the Winterthur program. He analyzed dozens of samples of paint, plaster, wood materials uh, to determine what the original stratigraphy was. Looking at the gilding specifically, we have three different types of gilding in this room. There's oil gilding, there's water gilding, and there is Roman gilding, which is a form of bronze gilding. We determined that the floor was so thin that it could not be sanded again. The paint originally was a pale uh, gray finish, very satin-like, very uh, rich and elegant. We ultimately settled on a, a modified oil enamel paint that we concocted ourselves, and it gave us that very elegant, soft enamel finish that we were striving for. The foundation had an opening uh, dinner in February 25th of 2012, uh, basically nine months to do the entire job. I like preservation because it really makes the past palpable. So it's not just something that you have to, that you can imagine or something that you can think about and read about, but you can actually step into something and, and get it right away. Knowledge, thoughtfulness, uh, quality, and skillful craftsmanship all coupled together as one in order to be successful in a project like this. This is a once in a lifetime project and uh, we're quite honored to be a part of that process.